name? Friend and neighbor? Or shall I say this afternoon? Welcome back to the Raiders franchise on Madden 22. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit the subscribe button, and comment below. It's going to be the Raiders hosting the Eagles. The uh, the Vegas Raiders off to a good start to the season, looking to get to 6-1 and one here. We're going to be without Josh Jacobs in this one. He's got a dislocated wrist that I guess either happened at practice or uh, at the end of the game last week, and we did not pick up on that in the injury notes. But nonetheless, the Raiders poised to move to 6-1 and one here against the Eagles team that has been struggling coming in. The opening kickoff brought out to about the 25 by Kenyon Drake, who's going to have a heavy workload in this one without Josh Jacobs. And Derek Carr has not been, like, dominant, but hasn't been bad. Would like to see him picking up a few more touchdowns and maybe see the yards per game come up. But the Raiders have run the ball well enough that he hasn't had to be, you know, a superstar. And a good start here as he gets the ball out to Darren Waller, pick up a 14, and a first down out to the 39-yard line. Looking to throw again. Has it to Hunter Renfro, and the Raiders already into Eagles territory. Down to the 46-yard line, another first down. First and 10, Carr looking to throw, goes over the middle and has it to Kenyon Drake, a pickup of about eight there and sets up second down and two. Now they're gonna go to the ground, it's Drake up the middle, big hole, and he has it inside the 30 to the 27. Another first down, Carr looking to throw, going deep for John Brown, good coverage by Slay, and it falls incomplete and Richie Incognito shaken up on the play. Carr now looking to throw, he goes back to Brown, this time underneath, and it's a pickup of five, sets up third down, and Carr gonna go to Darren Waller, and that's complete, and they have the first down. It's gonna be first and 10 from the 15. Now they go to the ground, Kenyon Drake to the outside, breaks through a tackle here, stays on his feet, and just takes it in. What a second effort from Kenyon Drake, just refusing to go down on that play, and it pays off as he's gonna hit pay dirt with his first touchdown of the game. And the Raiders already out to a good start as it's going to be 7 nothing after the extra point for Carlson is good. And a good drive there for the Raiders. Eight plays, 76 yards, taking up three and a half minutes. Eagles going to go to work after the touchback here as Rager just takes a knee. And we get a look at the numbers for Colin Kaepernick. Uh, sort of a dual threat guy, but doesn't run as much as he did in his rookie campaign where he was really good for the 49ers. You see his numbers so far this year. He's going to have to take care of the football if they're going to be uh, in this game because you would imagine that the Raiders are going to put up some points with the offense the way they've run the ball so far this season and already this game. And that's a good start there as Kaepernick completes for 14 yards and a first down. Now they go outside. It's Johnson. He picks up about four yards there on the first down, sets up second and seven. Kaepernick looking to throw. Plenty of time. Has it outside to Goddard. It's going to be good for a, a, a nice pickup there, but they're short of the first down, and now a false start is going to back them up, make it third down and seven. So an opportunity for the Raiders to get off the field here on third down. Kaepernick looking to throw. Kind of had it behind his man there, but a nice adjustment makes the catch, and it's good for a first down into Raiders territory to the 38-yard line. Kaepernick looking to uh, actually hands off here. It is uh, Miles Sanders, nothing there as he's brought down for a short loss. Now second and 10, and that pass incomplete. So again, Raiders an opportunity to get off the field. It's third down and 10. Plenty of time for Kaepernick. He's hit as he throws. Goddard makes two men miss and gets the first down. And the Raiders unable to get off the field yet again. And it's not going to be first and 10 from the 25. Kaepernick to throw, has it to uh, Smith, and that's going to be good for about seven yards. You see his numbers last week, six catches, 96 yards. Now second and three. They fake the jet sweep. They go up the middle to Miles Sanders, and he's got a first down to the 15-yard line. Kaepernick looking to throw, plenty of time, has it out to his man uh, Conley, and that's going to be down to the eight-yard line, second and three. Kaepernick again, plenty of time, scrambles left and throws and has it to his man for a touchdown. That is Rager for the first uh, touchdown of the game for the Eagles. And that makes it a 7-7 ball game after the uh, extra point is good. We'll take a look at the drive. It's, it took 11 plays, 80 yards over five minutes. The Raiders had several chances to get off the field, but were unable to do so. And the Eagles tie it at seven. 
Drake brings it out on the ensuing kickoff, has it to the 23 where he's brought down. Now Carr, the handoff is Drake. He's got a huge hole and then a block downfield and he's off to the races. Slay going to try and run him down, takes the angle and is able to push him out at the four yard line, but a massive gain as Kenyon Drake Three carries, 99 yards already, and a touchdown. They go to J Jalen Richard, giving Drake a time to, to catch his breath between plays and then put him right back in. But he is stuffed a yard short of the end zone here. Now third and goal, they're going to go right back to him. He's hit in the backfield but stays on his feet and then reaches for the end zone and has it in for his second touchdown of the first quarter as he is now at 100 yards on the day and looking good so far. The ensuing kickoff taken by Rager about a yard deep. He's going to bring it out, but the Raiders' feel, uh, coverage is good, and they get him down at the 23-yard line, and the Eagles take over first and 10. Kaepernick looking to throw down the middle off the hands of Rager that falls incomplete. Now second and 10, they go on the ground to Miles Sanders, and he is bottled up for a loss there as Phylon brings him down, and now third and 11. Raiders a chance to get off the field. But Kaepernick converts down the sideline. He hits Devontae Smith on the comeback route. Nice timing there on that throw. But yet again, the Raiders unable to get off the field on third and long. That's the last play of the first quarter there as they pick up a good uh, chunk, of a chunk of yardage on first down. But the Raiders lead 14-7 in what looks like it might be a barn burner. Neither team playing much defense so far. They keep it on the ground here, and Sanders has the first down, so it's first and 10 at the 42. Kaepernick the throw down the middle, but off with that throw, and it falls incomplete. Now they go on the ground. on Johnson breaks a tackle in the backfield, then finds a hole, and he is gone. 42 yards for the touchdown, and the Eagles are going to tie this thing at 14 on a big play there. But again, the drive was extended on that third down and 11 where the Raiders just unable to get off the field and the defense letting him down so far. Drake brings this one out to the 28 before he is brought down. Now the Raiders go back to work on offense. It's Darren Waller across the formation. Picks up about seven there, sets up second down and a long three. And here he's going to throw, has it to Waller. Slay thought he might have a chance to make a pick, but Waller, that big body out there, goes up and takes it away from him and has a big gain down to the 23. Back to the ground. Kenyon Drake this time is stuffed for a loss and it's going to be second down and 11. Carr looking to throw, goes to the outside, has it to Richard, but he is unable to hang on through the contact. Now third down and 11. They're going to try a screen, but the Eagles were all over it as Cox brings him down for a short loss, and it sets up fourth down, and a 43-yard field goal try from Carlson is good. So the Raiders do get the lead, but the Eagles defense least able to not give up seven and now it's 17-14. They fake a jet sweep here and Sanders up the middle. He's got about four yards and it sets up second down and six. Now they fake the handoff and Kaepernick going to keep it. Tons of room to the outside as Farrell bit on the handoff or the fake handoff. He picks up 22 on the play. It's first down but now a flag and a ball start before that one. So it's first and 15 from the 47. They go to Sanders on the ground. Nothing there as Carl Joseph wraps him up for a short loss. Now it's going to be second and 15. The throw, it's complete to Sanders. They get about four yards, so now it's third and 11. The Raiders another chance to get off the field. Plenty of time for Kaepernick. He finds Goddard over the middle of the field for the first down, and the Raiders fail again to get off the field on third and long. So the Eagles now first and 10. They give to Sanders. He breaks, breaks the tackle and has a nice gain on first down, down to the 29-yard line, second and one. Kaepernick looking to throw. Lots of time. He's going to try and run with it. He is brought down by Cleveland Farrell and Solomon Thomas as they combine for the sack there. It's a short loss, setting up third down and two. They throw over the middle at Sanders, and the Eagles are able to convert again, this time on third and short and Kelsey shaken up on the play. Now first and 10 from the 16. Sanders breaks the tackle, has it inside the 10, and it's gonna be second down and short, and Goddard shaken up on that play. Now second and three, Kaepernick swings it to the outside, a man wide open in the flat, and he takes it in for the touchdown. Not sure if that was a miscommunication on defense, but the Eagles are gonna take the lead. It is 21-17. 
Five minutes and 22 seconds to go in the half. Kenyon Drake from the two-yard line has it out to about the 26-yard line, and the Raiders take over. They give the Drake up the middle. He's got some room this time. Picks up about eight and sets up second down and short. Carr looking to throw. Has some time. Throws it deep for Henry Ruggs, and he makes a spectacular one-handed catch. Leaping through the air, he was covered well, but look at that one-handed grab as Henry Ruggs with a beautiful reception there. Now first and 10 from the 46. Carr has some time down the middle of the field. He hits Ruggs there. Another big gain as he's inside the red zone to the 18-yard line, first and 10. Two big plays in a row for Henry Ruggs. Now they go to the ground. It's Kenyon Drake up the middle. He's got about six or seven there, and it's going to set up a second down and four. They go back to the ground with Drake. He's going to be just short of the first down here, and it's third and inches. They give it to Ingold on the fullback dive, get the first down. Two minutes and 12 seconds. Nick Martin hurt on the play, so we don't get to the two-minute two warning there. Now on the next play, first and goal, Kenyon Drake. Breaks through a tackle, and he is in for his third touchdown of the first half. So the, the Jacobs injury, not a factor so far, as Kenyon Drake is having a tremendous ball game so far in this one. Eagles on the ensuing drive, go to the air. He hits uh, Devontae Smith over the middle, out to the 42-yard line. It's first down, and that will bring us to the two-minute warning. The Eagles looking to strike before the half as they trail by three. Now, plenty of time for Kaepernick. Plenty of time. Throws it deep as the Raiders were only rushing three there. The coverage, though, by Moore was good as he breaks that one up. Maybe a little bit of contact there, but no flag. Now, second and ten. They go to Smith again. It's complete for a pickup of eight. Third down and two, and they convert yet again. That pass to the outside for about six yards and a first down. Now, first and ten. It's incomplete there as Kaepernick led his man too much. Now second and ten, looking to throw. They try a screen. Sanders, though, is going to be bottled up for a short loss as the Raiders were all over that. Now third and 13. Kaepernick with plenty of time. The Raiders again rushing three here. He's going to have to take off and run with it. He gets about seven. That'll set up an opportunity for a field goal. They had to use an injury timeout, though, and then the field goal is no good. So with 50 seconds left, the Raiders have one timeout and decent field position, but... Derek Carr going to be sacked for a short loss there on first down, and the Raiders just going to basically at this point say, you know what, it's not worth it. They go to the half ahead by three, as this has been an interesting football game so far. Just no defense from either team, really. No takeaways to speak of either. So that's the story so far, as the Raiders unable to get any third down stops for the most part. We look around the league as the Broncos do take down the uh, the Browns to improve to 5-2 and two on the year, so that's got some influence on the AFC West uh, situation for the time being. Teddy Bridgewater pretty sharp in that one as they pick up a win on the road. The uh, Cardinals hosting the Texans, and they are getting smoked so far. The Texans, a surprise, at 5-1. and one. The Cardinals just 1-5, and five, and Kyler Murray 3-6 three three for six with 35 yards and an interception in that one so far. The Titans hosting the uh, the Chiefs, but a tough matchup anytime you play the Chiefs, no matter where you're playing them, and they get beat 29-11 as the Chiefs improve to 6-1, and one, and the Titans fall to 5-2. and two. Derrick Henry, 19 carries for 81 yards in a touchdown in that one. Now we go to the second half, as the story so far has been the Raiders were able to run the football, but have not been able to come up with third down stops, and we'll see if that trend holds true in the second half. Miles Sanders, good run to start the second half, picks up eight yards. Kaepernick going to try a screen here, but Trayvon Mullen blows that play up for a loss. Now, if you remember, he had a breakout scenario coming into this game, and that's going to set him up for an opportunity to possibly cash in on the uh, the that that breakout scenario. But nonetheless, third and five, they go for it, or they, they convert yet again on third down. Now it's first and ten. A pickup of four there as he hits Goddard to the right to the right side of the field. Then they go over the middle. This time that is going to be broken up and set up a third down and six. Kaepernick looking to throw. He's got some time, has it complete, but they are going to get him short of the first down. So the Raiders do come up with a third down stop to start the second half. And now the punt is going to go out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Not the best kick. Maybe trying to angle that one a little bit too aggressively, and nonetheless. It's going to be first and 10 for the Raiders. The throw to, to Waller is complete, but he fumbles as he gets tackled, and the Eagles recover and are going to have great field position. So 
Finally a turnover, and this one's going to go in favor of the Eagles. They go first and 10. It's going to be Smith with 16 yards down to the 17, first and 10. Then they go up the middle to Miles Sanders. Nice hard run there. He is running hard and has eight yards on first down. Now second and two. Kaepernick to the back of the end zone. Goddard open. Gets the feet down, and that is going to be the go-ahead touchdown for the Eagles as that will make it 27-24. The extra point try is going to be good, and they lead by four. Now seven minutes and 49 seconds to play in the, in the third quarter, so they do convert off of the turnover and get seven. Now Drake to bring it back from a yard deep. It jumps over one of his men and has it out to the 27-yard line. Carr hands to Drake here on a draw play that goes nowhere. A loss of two, and now this, this Eagles defense may be making some adjustments and trying to slow down. Um, Kenyon Drake here in the second half. There was third and 12. Carr, nothing there, just throws it away, and the Raiders go three and out. It's Rager to return, has that one out to about the 35-yard line where the Eagles take over. Now second and 10, it's complete to Smith. He's got it out to the 45-yard line of the Raiders, and a first down. Nice pick up there. Uh, Kaepernick has been pretty sharp in this one, and that was the sixth catch of the day for Smith, already at 93 yards. They go outside with Miles Sanders on first down and get about six. Sanders again, this time up the middle, lowers the shoulder and has the first down, brought down by Kutowski. Now third and nine, they go to the screen. It's going to be close, but he is brought down just short of the first down marker. So the Raiders do come up with a stop on third down, but the Eagles still get three and extend that lead to seven. It's 31-24, about four minutes to go in the third quarter, and you see the numbers there. Kenyon Drake, 10 carries, 122 yards, and three touchdowns in the first half. Just one carry in the second half, and he lost two yards on it. They go to the ground here, and he gets a few yards, but they're holding on the play, and that is going to be big because that will back it up, make it first down and 20. And the Raiders now going to try and throw. Carr looking deep for John Brown, but overshot him. Good coverage by Slay as he was with him step for step. Now second and 19, they get a good chunk of yardage there. It's a gain of 12, sets up third down and seven. That pass complete to Henry Ruggs. Now they go over the middle to Ruggs again, and he's got the first down. He's having a nice ball game so far, and it's going to be first and 10 out at the 41-yard line. Next possession, though, third and 10. He's going deep for Darren Waller, but it is overthrown. And that is going to fall incomplete. Fourth down, and the Raiders are going to have to punt. From there for 41, Rager back to return. He's going to have this at about the 12-yard line. Gets a few yards, has it out to the 17, where the Eagles will take over first and 10. Now third down and 10, and they convert again. This time to Rager over the middle. And it's just that's been the story so far for the Eagles. They've been converting on third down. Raiders unable to get off the field, but here they're going to get a sack from Warwick coming right up the middle. Only a loss of four, sets up second down and 14, second time that Kaepernick's been taken down for loss. Now third and 14, Kaepernick looking to throw, and it is going to be complete. The Raiders brought a four-man rush, but just couldn't get any pressure on him. Conley able to find some space, and Joseph just late getting there. That's the last play of the third quarter. The Eagles blank him 10 nothing in that one and take a seven-point lead going into the final frame. First and 10, Kaepernick looking to throw, has some time. It's complete to Devontae Smith. Mullen drags him down at the 24-yard line. It's first and 10. For the play, it's a, a false start, and that'll back him up five yards. Makes it first and 15 from the 29. Now second and 11. They throw to the outside, a little back shoulder look there that uh, Rager able to grab and gets it down to the five-yard line. Quick strike there, and the Eagles in business as it's first and goal from the five. Now second and goal. They try a draw play, and Corey Littleton was coming on a blitz, came in untouched, and just clobbers him for a three-yard loss. And now it's third and goal from the eight. Can the Raiders make a stop on third down? Kaepernick looking to throw, has some time. It's outside, complete to Smith, but Mullen right there to bring him down. Short of the goal line, it's going to be fourth and goal from the two. And the Eagles will go ahead and take the points to extend that lead. It's now 34-24, about nine minutes to play in the ballgame. So the Raiders needing some points here, first and ten. Carr looking to throw. Has it complete to Henry Ruggs coming across the field. He's got about seven yards, and that sets up a third down and short, actually, two plays later. They go over the middle to Hunter Renfro, but he is unable to hang on. Now eight and a half minutes to go. From their own 32, the Raiders going to go for it. 
they are going to get it as it's complete to Darren Waller. A huge gamble there. This are, with that much time left, kind of risky, but it paid off. Now first and ten, Carr looking to throw. Just threw it on the run, and it's underthrown. Ruggs had a step on Slay, but that ball is picked off. There is a flag, and it is going to be holding on the Raiders. So that is declined, and the Eagles will take over. First and ten from their own 18. So an opportunity to put the, uh, put this one away. Littleton almost able to pick that off, but Rager able to fight it away from him. It's gonna be good for a first down. Now third down and nine. The Raiders another chance to get off the field. It's a four-man rush. Tons of time for Kaepernick. He gets hit then as he tries to throw as Littleton basically realized he wasn't covering anyone. So he comes after him, drills him, it falls. Uh, the ball comes loose, but the Eagles do recover, and that is big because now they at least have the chance to punt. The Raiders going to have field position flipped as it's going to be first and 10 from the 33 instead of they would have had the ball deep in Eagles territory. They go to uh, Waller here on first down. He gets a few yards, sets up second and four, four, car looking to throw down the middle, has it to John Brown who gets clobbered, but he's got a first down down to the 40, a little bit slow getting up, but he looks to be okay. And the Raiders in business. Now first and 10 from the 40-yard line. Carr over the middle has it to really speed. That's good for about seven or eight yards. Sets up at a third and three. Carr looking to throw. Goes outside to Darren Waller, but is brought down short of the first down. Inside four and a half minutes, it will be a 49-yarder. And the Raiders going to try and take the points, and it, the kick from Carlson is good. So they do get three. It's a seven-point game, but they are going to need a stop from their defense and then a touchdown if they're going to try and tie this thing. Rager will bring it out from a couple of yards deep. He is going to be brought down at the 23-yard line, and the Eagles take over first and 10. Kaepernick to throw on first down. Has it complete. Goddard's second effort has that one out just shy of a first down. Now second and inches. They play action, and Max Crosby gets loose and just clobbers uh, Kaepernick, brings him down for a loss of about eight. And that is going to bring up a third down and eight. The Raiders a chance to get off the field. Kaepernick looking to throw. Has tons of time, a four-man rush, but the Raiders coverage was good downfield. Kaepernick just throws it away, and they force a three and out. That is huge as the Raiders are going to get the ball. With over two minutes, they've got all their timeouts and the two-minute warning and pretty good field position starting from the 41-yard line. So Derek Carr going to work. He's going to just flip it outside to Alec Ingold. Not much there. And that will bring us to the two-minute warning on a pickup of about three on the play. So it's going to be second down and about seven. And Carr looking to throw again. Swings it outside to Jalen Richard. Not much on that play. They get about three or four more, and it's now third down and two. They keep it on the ground with Richard here, going no huddle, and he has the first down. So it's first and ten from the 43. Carr looking to throw. Goes outside, but it is picked off as the safety just kind of came underneath. Carr didn't see him, and that one is a backbreaker. A minute 18 to go. The Raiders have all of their timeouts, but they will need a three and out, and then a miracle to get the touchdown and tie it. Now third and one. Kaepernick keeps it on the uh, on the fake, has the first down, and that's going to seal it. The Raiders not enough timeouts to get the football back at this point, and the Eagles are going to win it. 34 27, a tough second half for the Raiders as the running game went silent, uh, but some of that was that they were playing from behind there in the fourth quarter and just didn't really have many opportunities to try and kind of get Kenyon Drake uh, back into the football game as far as his involvement. But the real story in this one was a couple of turnovers were huge, but nonetheless, the Raiders just unable to really get many stops on third down when it mattered, especially in the first half. And the Eagles, a ton of yardage, 346 through the air, 141 on the ground. Derek Carr, two interceptions on the day. He just wasn't very good in this one. 22 for 34, 248 yards. Not that bad uh, by itself, but no touchdowns and two interceptions as he just hasn't been very effective the last couple of weeks. Still a big game for Kenyon Drake, but he only had um, – you know, a couple of carries in the entire second half. He ended up with 120 yards on 11 carries with three touchdowns. Still a really good day for him in relief of Josh Jacobs. Uh, but the, the, you know, that wasn't enough as the Raiders go to the air. It's 104 yards on eight catches for Darren Waller, but a huge fumble from him. Good day for Henry Ruggs, five catches, 82 yards. And then John Brown, not much of a factor, two catches, 26 yards in this one. 
Trayvon Mullen had 14 tackles, including two for a loss, which is huge because that is going to uh, seal up the uh, breakout scenario, I believe. Uh, Nick Kwiatkowski, 11 tackles, one for a loss, had a pretty good day. And the Raiders had a handful of sacks I forgot to show you. Carlson was two for two on field goals and then three for three with extra points. A good day for A.J. Cole with a couple of nice punts. Kaepernick, a big day, 359 yards and three touchdowns through the air. No interceptions. He was really effective in this one. Miles Sanders sort of misleading stat line as he had 18 carries, 58 yards, but it seemed like he ran the ball a lot better than those numbers suggest. And then Johnson had the one big run, ended up with three carries for 48 yards and a touchdown. Uh, big day for Devontae Smith, eight catches, 118 yards. Goddard, eight catches, 80 yards. Rager, seven catches for 82 yards and a touchdown. So a lot going on through the air for the Eagles. Defensively, the tackles were pretty well spread out. Fletcher Cox leading the team in tackles with three, or with seven, including a sack. Slay had an interception. Actually, yes, yeah, Slay and Wallace had the interceptions for the Eagles on the day. Elliott was two for three, missed a long field goal late in the first half, uh, but also collected four extra points on the day. And then Jones, three punts, netted 35 and a half yards, one of those inside the 20. And that's it from this one. The Raiders fall 34-27 um, and fall to 5-2 and two on the season. But before we wrap up, a couple things that we want to show you. As you see here, Trayvon Mullen does come through with the, uh, the breakout scenario. So that is nice to know. And he's going to be upgraded to a superstar dev trait. And then one last thing that we are going to look at, I believe, is the situation with... Uh, Trayvon or no it's the bye week so we're going to give them a little bit of rest but guys that is going to do it please be sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button comment below and we will see you all next time good evening Friends and neighbors, or shall I say this afternoon?